Hello everybody, Steve Tree again with another modded inscription Act 1 run. And today I'm gonna be trying Aras mod again. It's gaining a bit of traction and also there has been a huge update and uh, from the 10 cards it has had, it has I think about 20? 20 something? Maybe a bit more, maybe a bit less. And then maybe, just maybe, tomorrow I do Ara with diseased mod. Maybe it works. Maybe. Or maybe I could do only diseased again and then combine them. Either way. By the way, some people said that uh, some mods take them out of the immersion because a bunch of random cards appear. By the way, what do I have? Oh, I have this and Wolf Pulse. Tiny Ant. Okay, the mod is working. <laughs> it has evolution in two turns. I like this. By the way, I like these three right now. So they are getting in the deck. And now I can go for either Coyote, King, Coyote, Cockroach, or Elk. So many people are invested in the Cockroach. Maybe I could go Cockroach into a Black Goat. To be honest, I would like to send the Black Goat off to Sacrifice for once. I think we're gonna go with the Cockroach regardless for the first choice. Just because I want to have something that I can sacrifice without being afraid. We found a Corpse Maggot that evolves. I like this as an idea. A vicious beaver, which uh, gives you two blockers, and then it also gives them damage, and it also searches a card on the deck. Another tiny ant. This time it attacks the sides, though. It's free, by the way. Wait a minute, this is free? Is the tiny ant free for my... What? <laughs> okay, this card is a lot better than it looks like. This card is a lot better than it looks like. Wolf cub. A wolf cub that gives you a free thing to play. I mean, I I'm not picking the maggot right away, because you cannot transfer this. Uh, you cannot sacrifice something that has a stitched on sigil, so this is literally a 1-2 maggot that evolves into a 2-4 two two most likely. But the tiny ant might be insane. The wolf cub is definitely very good because this, this thing here is pretty much a free sacrifice. The skink is also nice, creating spikes. I think I'm between wolf cub and tiny ant. I don't know what the tiny ant evolves into, but let's go with the tiny ant. Um, as in case it evolves into something that has ant damage, we will, uh, know. I think I want to go for the sack. Do I have anything to throw in the flame? Not really. Let's go for the sack, get rid of the cockroach, transfer it over to the black goat to have infinite sacrifices. Or I can transfer it over to the tiny ant to have definitely infinite sacrifices. And let's transfer it to the sack, tiny ant. Let's transfer this thing to the tiny ant. Nice. Another successful cockroach sacrifice. <laughs> Another day. Wait a minute. Is one of the two ants? Oh no, they're both zero ones. And now if I find the connect two, by the way, there is no sacrifice coming up. Okay, first of all, I want to see what the tiny ant does. Let's play the wolf cub too. So we go here. What is this? This is the first fight. L look what I'm getting for the first fight. The game's insane. Sack, bring it over here so that I can kill the flyer. Play the tiny ant here in the hopes that it somehow doesn't die. Something is definitely gonna come in and destroy it. Oh, nothing came. Nice. Okay, this should do nothing, exactly. Another tiny ant. Well, we play it. Infinite blogger. Let's go. No, no, it dies. It's just a 1 2. It becomes a work rant. Ah, it becomes a work rant. Nice, nice. Work rant is uh, how many ants I have. Oh, it doesn't count this though. Ooh, ooh, that's a big oof. This uh, this tiny ant should actually, in my opinion at least, count towards the ant. How, however, however many ants you have, that's why this is blue. It's uh, ant damage. It becomes a work rant. A bit disappointed. A inky squid, lurking in the shadows. The squid is quite formidable. It's a six cost. Uh, goes underground and then shoots whatever you want. I like it. Alpha Elk. The yeah, Alpha Elk can create strong, but not for long. Yeah, it's a 3-3 three, three that transforms into a 1-3? Into 1-4? I'm not 100% sure what it transforms into. I like the Inky Squid. To be honest. I like the Inky Squid. And at least I, at least I like the Sigils, you know. I can transfer the Sigils off to the Wolf Cub. And then it's going to become a 3. Yeah, let's, let's go for this and maybe transfer them over to the Wolf Cub. But see if the inky squid. I don't care. Let's let's bring those sigils over to the wolf cub. 
But Sift, you have said that going underwater is bad. Not if you can snipe. And also not if you have three damage. Let's go. I like it, I like it. Right, right now the run's going well. So a lot of people were saying that uh, a lot of mods bring them out of the immersion. So I thought... So in my in my big brain moment time of need, I thought that um, I can literally just play vanilla. But uh, the only mod I could add might have been like a bigger map. You know, I could play with a bigger map as a mod. Wouldn't that be fun? Let's go here for the infinite blogger again. By the way, is this gonna die? Alpha, no! Alpha, no! Let's go here. Let's go. I could have done a free sacrifice on the tiny end. It is what it is. Sniper only. You're gonna pay for that. Ooh, I love it. I love this. I love this wolf. I love this wolf. This is an insane card. I love it. I'm in love. Sniper, sniper and underwater. I'm pretty sure a lot of people were thinking what would be the best possible thing to do. Sniper underwater. Maybe add a poisonous on it too. Poisonous man, poisonous good. <laughs> I surrender. I'm not taking that surrender. I'm gonna get some money out of you. Look at this. Three damage, snipe whatever you want. Insane. Love it. So yeah, as I said, I can just use the draft mod and the bigger map mod and everything else be vanilla. Because what is this graphic, man? A bit a bit immersion breaking, but still a nice what a nice card animation man you know what imagine if instead of having like smaller drawings because right now i mean this is a really good drawing this is a really good drawing this is this is a decent drawing you know i'm not uh, trashing anybody but some drawings like for this example this for example is a bit of a decent drawing maybe this part is awesome but this thing imagine if all our cards would be like insanely awesome drawings and what is this it's two mana two two flying and spikes um, so there is a 2 mana 2-3 Which I think uh, Flying without spikes Which I think is mediocre So this is worse I mean spikes will kill whatever is attacking it But if anything has 2 damage while attacking it This is toast I think I want to go with a magpie Or just reroll I mean magpie is always insane Because this thing here can fetch you whatever you want But where will I transfer it to? I mean, if I draw it, I can play it for with the black goat, pretty much, for free. Let's reroll. Let's find something fun. Well, nothing fun is here, but uh, let's go, I guess, with another wolf cub. But Sift, pick the best new cards. Maybe I should have. Maybe I should have. Well, good thing I went with the wolf cub here. <laughs> well, not really a good thing that I went with the wolf cub there. Should I go for the black goat on the wolf cub? Theoretically speaking, I should do this. This is so stupid. But there is no better choice, to be honest. The opposite is straight up worse. I mean, the only thing that's good if I do... Uh, I'm doing this. If I did the opposite, the only thing that would be good... Yeah, now that I think about it, what would I pick in the previous thing that I could transfer everything on? I guess... I guess, I don't know. Maybe I made a mistake. Uh... Well, yeah, we, we hide this over and behind that. We do this here. We do this. This is pretty much a model anyway. We go here and we hope that this somehow survives. We snipe this. Whoop, underwater. Oh no, a wolf's coming on the left. Whoop. And we got the wolf cub number two, dosh. So... I think I'm gonna do a test. And the test is, is this thing gonna reset? Yes, it did reset. I'm disappointed that it reset. But it is what it is. I don't think it's the modder's problem. I think it's the game's problem. I think the game made it so that this thing either resets or um, transforms. Uh, snipe this. But Sift, you could have won and get money. Well, I did not know that at that moment. This is too random, and uh, I might not even be able to sacrifice anything. And I still have not got my this, so let's go to the right. Ooh, Warrior Squirrel, I love it, I love it. One cost, one, one, that unfreezes into what? The squirrels are sick of being sacrificed. 
It's sacri frozen away. When a card bearing the sigil perishes, the creature inside is released. Well, I'm going to pick it up, but I don't know what it releases. So... Nobody knows. And it's a squirrel, so theoretically it will get all the buffs. Uh, you okay? Bro? Okay, seems like we soft locked the game here. Let's go out and back in again. By the way, I forgot to add a card that's exclusively for me. You know what? Give me a sec to... Let's see if this unbugged. And if this unbugged, we will continue. Otherwise, I will... Uh, Okay, this is completely bugged. <laughs> you know what I have been told? I have been told that the sigils that are from Act 2 or whatever can, might also appear here. So I'm gonna just assume that they try to make the totem make an, have an Act 2 sigil and then it bugged out. Well, that's what happens with mods. So we'll continue here on the left road. You know what? Give me a sec, give me a sec, give me a sec. I'm gonna pause here for a sec. Okay, I'm back. So I guess I'm gonna show it tomorrow or the day after. Let's uh, go to the first pack rat here because of the bug that happened. Uh, maybe I could remove the mod temporary. Nah, let's let's just go. I guess this is bugged out now. I will test again in uh, another thing, but let's get the pack rat. It's not really that bad. I could transfer it onto something that costs zero, but right now both have transformations on them either way. Grave smoke one, grave smoke two. So I wanted to add an, a mod that is uh, the sift card, and that's supposed to be an overpowered card. I was thinking about, you know, everybody that's doing modes, mods, maybe everybody could create a sift card if they want, obviously, and make them only accessible on bosses. And then my idea would be to pick the card up whenever I want, and when I pick it up, I will delete it from the... I will remove the mod. So for example, if you want to create only one card, you can create the sift card, and then uh, I would pick it up if it appears in the shop. And when that happens... Uh, by the way, what should I play here? The wolf cup is gonna get sniped. I want the wolf cup for phase two. Actually, do I want the wolf cup for phase two? I can't have anything for phase two. Yeah, I don't need the wolf cup for phase two. This is the mortal one. Well, immortal means infinite sacrifices. You go over here just so we test what you do. And you go over here as uh, this is pretty much a safe spot and also a corner. And uh, tiny end, you go over here. Why not? Whip pass. Snipe. So yeah, um, as I was saying, you can create me- Oh, a squirrel comes out of it. It's trash. <laughs> it's a lot worse than I thought. A pack rat. I guess I can use the squirrel and play the pack rat. Right now, if I do split splash, I will lose the game, I think. Uh, you know what? Let's play the squirrel and get a pack rat. Ah, you see? It's trash. We pass. We do here here, yep. Adder at the right. On the right, at the right, on the right. I don't even know. We draw a real card. Okay, we pass. We snipe the adder as the pack moves dead. And I also don't mind the pack rat dying. Okay, at this point we have one. Dang, nab it. I even got a unique. I even got a rare card. Not a rare card. Uh, a modded card. I got mites. One mana, one one that die. <laughs> Tiny ant. I mean, this is a work rant already. Can I win? Well, I can win, but the thing is, right now I want to get rid of the coyote. I want to clear out the whole board. Enemy can't even do anything to me. Enemy. You'll get sniped. Okay, now the wolf hop's coming in. Okay, if we win right now, then I don't need to do anything. Yeah, nice enough. So I was saying, sift card, uh, overpowered not, doesn't matter. It's going to be a boss drop only. And then if I draw it, I remove the card from the, my mods so I don't happen to get the same sift card again. And then I use another sift card from another creator. Until we find something that's awesome and then we can maybe keep it in the run. Awesome as an idea. I'm, I mean I mean awesome as an idea. I don't mean awesome as a... This card is the most powerful card I have. We're not chasing overpowered stuff. We're chasing fun stuff. Let's go. Why did you play the tiny ant? Well, you could have played other things. Because I'm having fun. Oh no, an otter is coming in. Oh no, poisonous. Your mites. Uh, actually, that was a bad idea. Here, wolf cub? We want it, 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 it. Easy win. Let's go. Actually, the mites was not a bad idea, but whatever. Let's continue. Sean. 
And I was also thinking about running once, uh, two runs per day, although I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to do it right now. Deathwalker. Uh, akin to the Necromancer, the Corpse Walker makes cards die twice. It's a little more unpredictable, however, because it's also random. Okay, so this... Oh, the sigil is still not implemented. Deathwalker or Corpse Walker? <laughs> Uh, this is the same card. Modding, do 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 do. That's what happens when you mod. By the way, I'm not even sure I want these. Do I even want these units? Die twice. I mean, I will get. You know what? I think I want this. Yeah, let's get the Death Walker, which is akin to the Corpse Walker, but different. <laughs> A bit more unpredictable. <laughs> Somebody forgot to change the sigils and make one of the two not be unpredictable. Okay, I got the remover card. I got the flame without good flame units. I got to get the random OP card. I, I want to avoid this. What's over there? There is a sacrifice. So I was I want to go here, 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 here like that. Let's go. Maybe, maybe we got the black goat here. Maybe for once in our lifetime. Screeching ant. It's a two cost. Um this is insane. <laughs> It's a two cost, create yourself and as many ants you have. This is really strong, like really strong. I don't even have bone costs. I mean, this thing is gonna go off. This Forget it, this this thing is not in my deck right now. This is gonna get transferred maybe over to the warrior scroll or something. It's going to get transferred somewhere. This is not even good. This is only good for a bone build. Maybe it's good for this tiny ant that can multiply. Screeching ant, I think screeching ant is a good idea. By the way, somebody is creating a... Turkle, I think, is creating an ant mod. Okay, what should we throw out? It's either the pack rat or the death walker. And I start believing it should be the death walker than the pack rat. I mean, what am I going to do with this? The only combo is this tiny ant. The only combo is this tiny ant. You know what? I prefer the tiny ant over the stupid thing. <laughs> I prefer to get two tiny ants out of their deaths than have the item. Although I know that items are really strong. And uh, I'm really an advocate into using items to just win for free. This became an item. Ha. Good one. Mm, flyers that also try to YOLO themselves in front of units and then they go underwater. No sense whatsoever. Uh, yes, we go with the sniper wolf. Whip pass. I'm sorry, I'm lagging. <laughs> I mean, mind-wise. Okay, let's get the other wolf cub in the match. We'll pass. The reason I played the wolf cub there is because I wanted to be covered behind the... The unit that makes my unit into a flyer. Haha, <laughs> look at this. I'm doing six damage. Now you just hope for the best. And you're toast. Once again. Kingfish, trash card. Let's go. Let's go over here into the sacrifice. And there is a shop over... Oh, sorry for the sharp S. Okay, we're rolling... Wait a minute. Okay, my idea is to transfer this, but I can transfer this. I can transfer this over to where? You know, you see, I need something to transfer this on. Does this work with the Kingfisher? No, I don't know this. Is this supposed to be a sigil? A sigil will be equal to the number of ants on the owner. Is this supposed to be a sigil? Because if this thing is supposed to be a sigil, I can play it into a kingfisher. Testing time, you know. You know, it's testing time. It's testing time. I have I have decided that I, I want to test something. You. You. Give it make make his attack ant attack. Trash. I just trashed the card, by the way. I just made a huge mistake. I trashed the card that's useful. And now I can't even do anything with it. The fact that this thing is so stupid. I I played and I lost, you know. I, I gambled and I lost the gamble. That's how this works. What is this? Leave stale behind? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Are you seriously kidding me? Let's go here. I'm not gonna play a stupid Kingfisher. I'm gonna even sacrifice it when the time comes. By the way, I don't even wanna kill that. I don't wanna kill that. Why did I play it like this? 
We pass. This is gonna do one damage, two damage to the tail and one to the bee in the back. So this uh, the bee in the back is dead. Nice. Uh oh. I need to play this thing. Uh. Let's play it over here. We pass. I can kill this. Bring a bullfrog in. I can make this move. Kill this, bring a bullfrog. Actually, this is the same thing. There's no reason to try to kill that. Let's go damage. Next turn, I will do three and I can kill the whole line. Very nice. Tiny ant has arrived. Kingfisher. So, oh, Kingfisher is doing something. Ooh. Well, I, at least I got an infinite Kingfisher board fill if I have the tiny ant in my hand. But it could have been so much better. So much better. Let's kill this line too. Next turn we win. It's too late, my dude. It's too late. It's too late to hope to win. It's too late. Let's go. Pop. Always cracking the head over there. I think I don't have any pelts, but I do have dual cards. Blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah, blah. Skipperoni. So now the question is, will I combine my two ants or will I combine my two wolves? Let's see what seems to be better. I think I want to combine my two ants. Yeah, this looks better. But then again, if I combine my two ants, I will not be... They, they will forever have one damage. As if they don't have one damage right now. Well, this this combination is a lot stupider. I mean, transfer the sigil onto this. What What's the point? I'm never going to sacrifice this thing. At least this thing I have sometimes. Maybe, maybe I might sacrifice it. But if I sacrifice these, now that I think about it, it's going to be a 2-2. Two, two that transforms into a 4-4 four, 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 or a 5-6-4. I don't know what it's going to transform into. And while this is just going to be 0-2. Yeah, let's go for this. The sigils are trash. I realize that. But the unit itself is good. Let's continue. Okay, I got the Yugi card. Let's go here. Let's go... This is a safe spot. Might as well go here. So I don't randomly create a flyer. Snipe this. Yeah, well, actually, yeah, this is a good spot because the rest need to be able to attack while this guy can attack sideways. It's a 4-3. I'm a bit disappointed. A bit disappointed. Uh, let's snipe the back line too. Oh no, another. Oh no, a rattler. <laughs> this is such a joke. Here. Hey, look, I can create infinite... Uh Hey, look, I create infinite cards. Ooh, infinite bones. Ooh, now I have the card twice. Wait, why do I get the card twice? I kill it? Oh, 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 because it enters the... Okay, got it. I got it, I got it. I got it. Snipe this line. Easy enough. Easy win. Oh, no, another rattler is coming in. Here, get now Kingfisher running. Oh, I was able to sacrifice the thing that was in front of the Eldsman. I was able to sacrifice uh, the Kingfisher that was in, in mid-flight, I think. I'm not sure. Here, maybe if I get a canine, I can combine them. Maybe if I get another Kingfisher, I can combine them. Let's try to get another Kingfisher, YOLO. I got the all. I got the all. Whatever. Now, I'm missing an item. No, I'm not. I don't want a pack rat. So, I guess I'm gonna combine my trusty tiny ants. Bad idea, but what to do? I prefer to combine the tiny ants to make the deck smaller than uh, go out of my way to get a pack rat and make my my deck bigger. I prefer to you lose a decent card from the deck while making it sl small. As long as I'm not losing my best card, that's what I'm trying to say. As long as my I have a card that's very strong, like the wolf I have, there is no reason to not remove anything that's not that wolf from the deck. And also combining cards is not actually removing, it's making them more powerful. While on the other hand, I would get a pack rat, which I definitely don't want in my deck. 
Ooh, the awesome graphics all is here. Graphics. <laughs> Let's uh, go with the squirrel into a wolf. Here. A whip ass. Oh no, a kingfisher. Oh no. Here, yours. All yours. Sniped. Du -du 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 -du. Next. Oh no! Oh no! The bucket! Oh no! Warrior Squirrel! Warrior Squirrel ready for action! Warrior Squirrel ready for action! Easy win! Let's continue. Let's see what we get. Well, I guess I'm old man. <laughs> I guess I can take this and try to combine... Man, this is really not a good card, especially not for the deck. I mean, it's a good card for maybe bone decks, but not for this deck. For this deck, it's definitely not a good card right now. Okay, let's see the gamble here. I, I should use my flight thing just to get rid of it, to not be afraid of item fights, rooms. Sigils? Sigils should be easy, right? Yeah, everybody has a sigil. Come on, three, four, five, six, okay, a thousand. You passed. I got an odd soldier. Tries to die, is also a fly blocker. Two cost though. Screeching. Uh, this is really good for blocking. This is really stupid as an icon, but this is like an insta kill on so almost everything. I found the screeching ant again. Ant soldier. I mean, why does he have three life? He should have at least five. M maybe four, maybe four, maybe four. Ant Soldier, I guess. I mean, this thing is... Let's just go with the Ant build. As long as we can, at least. I want to go for Flame. Into this. Into Sacrifice or Remove. Yeah, it's this, this road is straight up better. Why would I go for items when I can go for Flame? Health? Well, I guess we know what we're sending off to the Health Department. Actually, it's between Mole Man and uh, Ant Soldier. Wait a minute. If I make Mole Man... If I transfer the Owl over to the Mole Man... He will have Flying, which he doesn't need. But he will also have Spikes. Oh, wait. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, this thing is pretty much a Mole Man. Yeah, if I transfer this thing over to the Soldier, it will also attack at least. Sure, well, we go with this. I'm gonna flame it twice. A moment in the fire. Oh, I'm afraid. And soldier, no! We got him. Let's go. Let's go. By the way, did they say keep it one more time? I didn't read. I, I was so fast on clicking. My mistake. I said that every time they say keep it for one more minute, I'm gonna always keep it to test the theory of the viewer. I'm sorry if they said it and I missed it. Sometimes I'm overzealous. Three attack. Two attack. Ow. Oop, the ant soldier is here. I could sacrifice this thing for the ant soldier, but uh, I don't think that's a good idea. You know, I don't know. I don't know why. I don't know why I feel it. I feel like that, but <laughs> let's try to play something from the, my hand. Uh, let's snipe this. I know that I have life spare. Now I can play the awesome owl. Let's play the owl. Let's play the owl just because of the fact that it looks awesome. Snipe this. That was stupid. That was a big misplay, by the way. Have you ever seen a bigger misplay? I have not. Let's go with. Try to play the ant soldier. Let's go with. I just realized something. Yeah, I made a mistake. I'm making a lot of mistakes. I cannot transfer the spikes onto the Sand Soldier. I can only transfer it on the, to the Mole Man. Um, here I will have to... I'm forced to do damage to the enemy. Otherwise, we're taking like... Two in the air and we were losing, I think. Okay, and now I can play the Ant Soldier. Which is going to block a bunch of stuff. While also doing damage... On the ground. Yeah, he's doing damage on the ground. What damage? I don't want to, the Wolf to come in. Let's get rid of this whole line. Nice. The stupid Kingfisher is here. Ah, let's win. Nice. Let's go. 
think I could have won the previous round. Well, my deck is pretty much uh, in tatters. Yeah, I'm gonna reroll this. Uh, I guess I'll file for the three damage from the nowhere. Opossum. At this point, I think Opossum, man. Maybe even Vulture. I have a way to create infinite bones with this. Yeah, I thought I could transfer this onto that soldier, but that's not a possibility, so I will transfer it all over to the old man. <laughs> uh, I mean, there is no transferring going to happen anymore. And I can't really play this if I don't draw the specific cards I need. Let's go with a possum for the random blocker that might uh, save us a day. I will go for sacrifices and I will sacrifice the all on the mole man. Is there another fire coming along? There is another fire. If it's damage, I will put it on the mole man. And then he will be flying, blocking, spikes, everything. And if it's health, again, mole man. I could put damage on the tiny ant. Yeah, I think I might put damage on the tiny ant. Should I remove something from the deck straight up? Well, let's go here first. I think straight up removing might be a bit worse than just doing transfer. Let's give let's give the mole man spikes and flying. And if the flame is damaged, I will put it on the ant. But if the next flame is damaged, I will put it on the old man. And um, if this flame is health, I will put it on the old man to block everything and spike everything and have a super blocker for a bit. Flippy spinny into an item. Nice. That was lucky for once. What's coming in? Okay, Vulture. By the way, I can play this. Okay, we go here. We go here. Again. 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 I just want some bones. We go here. Into this. We go here. Now we go... I'm stupid. Uh, I had literally one job, man. I literally had to do one and only one thing. I didn't have to do anything else. I just had to do one thing and I didn't do it. I want to see... Ah, uh, my mistake. Well, mistakes are mistakes. And they happen when they happen. It is what it is. Why did I draw that? Mm, let's snipe this. We got time. Um, here, let's go with this. How much left do you have? I think I have to kill this. I mean, I have the Ant Soldier to always protect me. And I also remember that this stupid mole there can... Uh, will block my attack. Okay, let's kill the whole line. And now we won. Boop, boop. Oh no! Let's go for overkill, if possible. Easy enough. Easy win. Let's go off to the next one. Trapper. A bit late if you ask me. And give me this and this. I guess one more. Let's build our deck up a bit. Always the same thing. The free one plus two middle ones plus a right a rare one. There is a flame on the left. Damage. I think it's time for the tiny ant to have some damage. Keep it right there, they said, so we're keeping it. That's what I have been asked to do. Another flame. I prefer it over the another item. And also a better an easier choice to pick, I guess, because I can reroll. Whoop, tiny ants here. And also that thing's here. We won. I don't even know why I played that. I can do like this. And like uh, this. And like this. And like this. And uh, money. I guess the tiny ant is not positioned correctly, but whatever. <laughs> well, actually, I didn't get money because I didn't correctly pose. But it doesn't matter. Money is irrelevant at this point. Bug. It kills everything and it decides. No, I don't like any of those. Well. Do I even have anything that costs a lot? I guess I have this one thing. Well. I guess it's an elk fawn. 
Wow, imagine. Let's see what can we get here. Damage? Health. Well, I never had the chance to sacrifice the Mole Man. Oh, I did. Okay, then we go Mole Man. Keep it right there. Can I get one? No. It's a 0 8 is good enough. It's gonna block pretty much everything and most likely kill a bunch of stuff too. If I draw the Mole Man right now, here for example, I'm, I will pretty much clear the whole board. And the enemy won't even be anything, able to do anything. I will be able to just lock down the board right away. Here he is. We won. Once again, I played this for no reason, as I do actually have the Ant Soldier here. Um... Oh, it's uh, the Tiny Ant. I meant the Tiny Ant. Okay, the Tiny Ant is definitely getting played. Here? Played here. Play the Grow Smoke here just to sacrifice it, you know. I'm just using it to go faster through this. Boop. Boop. Okay, let's draw a real card. As this pretty much over. A pass. Mole Man's about to die, by the way. Oh no, the tiny ant. <laughs> let's go here. Let's go here. And pass. Okay. Let's go here, pass. Nice. Oh no, my tiny ant. Here, pass. That's toast. We win the round. Nice. Now we just take all these cards away and win. Can we win? Not a thing about it. Wait a minute. Okay, we obviously can win. There's an soldier here. No new cards here, by the way. Uh, first of all, let's get rid of the front line. And uh, I have one more spot. I think if I take the Grizzly, I can actually play it. Yeah. <laughs> this is flying uh, swim or whatever. Here. Yep. Calculated correctly. And uh, I think we win. Can I play the Ant Soldiers? I would like to play the Ant Soldiers for the funsies. Yeah, forget the... Forget the Grizzly. Safety, you're risking to lose. I killed the Grizzly. I didn't need to kill the Grizzly. I would have killed the Tiny Ant. And I didn't even play the Tiny Ant in the middle. <laughs> Everything is bad the way I did it. But it doesn't matter. We're winning here either way. I should not have killed the Grizzly. There was no risk involved here. Even if those were coming in, I I had the hook, I had the knife, I could have won easily. Well. <laughs> oh, corn snake. Six ma six cost, two one creates itself. I don't like it. I'm sorry. Let's go amalgam. Rayuli is not playable in the deck. I, I don't know, man. I don't like it. I don't know what to say. <laughs> what to say. Maybe I should combine the... I think I'm gonna combine the mods from the, for the next run. Because if the mod has 20 cards and I only like 5 of them, this is nice. Wolf Cub. You know what? I'm gonna take the Wolf Cub. I don't care. Ink Squid. Actually, no. I'm gonna take this. Let's control the water. Infinite black goats. I could have gone Urayuli new fly trap. Gives you an item, three cost, when it dies, kills the enemy. River bird. One cost, one two. Evolves. Flyer and poisonous. Poisonous is useless as it's flying. Alfalk, yeah, we know what that does. Uh transform. I think I like the fly trap for the memes and the river bird. I could also have infinite black goats sacrificing themselves. Do I have bone units that I need to be able to play? Not really. I mean, I have this, but who cares? 
I think I want to go with these two. I want to also see what this transforms into. Maybe it has like a unique uh, evolution or something. Once again, poisonous is completely relevant. Everything is completely relevant. Um, I guess. I guess. Well, I, don't know. I can't play the Rayuli. Let's see how this goes. Let's see. Let's continue, please. Give me the the stuff I want. Nope. Yes. You pass. And whatever card I want. Move. Rare. Flying. I think I have more flying than rares. But I can't check. I hate that you cannot check your deck. I definitely have... I think I have three rares. Maybe four. Let's take this and if we lose it, we lose it. I think I have like three flyers. Nope. 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 Okay, I, I was losing anyway. So, nothing gained, nothing lost. That's the worst feeling, you know. If you draw three cards and all three are completely random, then you're like, oof. Uh, not oof, you're like, phew. That was, uh, I, I was unlucky either way. But if you choose one of the two and then the cards that are for the other event are there, if you choose rares and you get three flyers, you're like, no. <laughs> so I definitely prefer just uh, straight up losing everything. And I'm gonna try to hook the moon, like everybody's saying all the time. The moon, the moon, <laughs> hook the moon, the moon, hook the moon. Do -do -do -do. Boom. Do -do -do. Masks flying. Start with a bone. Okay. The Mantis God's trying to come in. Uh. I don't know what to do. <sighs> I guess let's get the board rolling. I guess let's get the board rolling. Let's go here. Is this flying? Oh, this is block. Oh, it's bl it's blocking air too. So this uh, this is already enough. Yes. Here, just block that. I don't care. Oh no, don't make it golden. Oh no, Prospector. Let's draw what I want now. Where's my... Here it is. Tiny end. Play it here. But pass. Oh no! Oh no! Uh, next time, please give me a million of them, if possible. Like, a three trillion is a better number than uh, only three. Let's see. So, Tiny Ant gets played for sure. It gets played here. Kills this already. Now we play the Wolf Cup over to the right. Attack the air. Can I win? Can I win? Let me go here. Uh, send an amalgamoth to the right to get rid of that thing. Wait a minute, wait a minute. <laughs> Damn it. Maybe I should have had amalgam over here. How much life do, has he done to us? I think zero, right? Three damage from here, another two from the wolf. I think there's a win. I'm wrong about this. Yeah, he doesn't. Ha he hasn't done any damage to us. Very nice. I don't believe the fact that once again I forgot to play the tiny ant in the correct position. I, I have gotten tired of this thing. I've gotten tired of making a mistake with the tiny ant. And now I'm pretty much, pretty, yeah, pretty sure viewers will be like, yeah, we're tied too. <laughs> well, now it doesn't matter what he's doing. Do I have poisonous? I definitely remember getting poisonous into a fly or something. Yeah, here it is. <laughs> Cheeky. Let's, uh, let's play this. I want to see what this evolves into. Because it will evolve next turn, and the moon will instantly die, so... Damage. Okay, the moon photoshoot, we know. Photoshooting the moon. Photoshooting the moon. 
And... Ooh! Riverbird. It... Oh, it has no revolution! Oh no, it's underwater! Wait, is it just transforming back and forth? Well, now I can't know, because it will kill the moon. Well, I guess I'm gonna pick it up again if it happens. And if it goes once underwater and once over ground, overboard, I'm not sure if it's good. If it has a third evolution, then I'm all in. I told you, Sif, poisonous is overpowered. <laughs> oh! Oh! It became a... Oh, it actually did evolve in time. Nice. Nice. Uh, it's nice, I guess. Here, play the fly trap, whatever. And soldier. I wanted to get rid of the amalgam. Damn it, gold nugget. Damn it, gold nugget. Let's get... You know what? Let's get not soldier over there. And let's also get the fly trap here in the middle. So this thing became a 2-4 underwater. What happens if you don't beat him right away? So it starts as a 1-2 flyer, then evolves into a 1-2 underwater, and then it evolves into a 2-4 underwater. Um, I think, in my opinion, I, I mean, my opinion is always makes something a bit more overpowered than it is, but I think it should be like a 1-1 one, one flyer, because it's only one sacrifice unit, right? So it should be a 1-1 one, one flyer, then it evolves into a 2-1 underwater, and then it evolves one last time into a 3-2 underwater or something like that. I mean, if it's underwater, it's not gonna die, only from spikes. So that, I think, would be a bit more fun. I'm not sure if um, you agree or disagree, Ara. Ara, Era, Ara, whatever you uh, are exactly called. Actually, I mean, I don't know what it's pronunciated. I guess I'm gonna learn if she... Uh, if... Uh, they watch the video. Let's uh, think about this. Ant attempt. <laughs> this was not an ant run. Untempt. You know what? It stays untempt. Photo shoot, photo shoot, photo shoot. Is this the run where uh, once again Magnificus? Shows us his painting. As far as I remember, I think this is the third one. Yep. Once again, Magnificus is gonna zoom in, zoom out. And now the painting itself is gonna zoom in. Yep. <laughs> yeah, they... they. Uh, I think this needs like a recoding there. The, the painting is a bit... Weird. Okay, we got four rabbit pelts. It happens. It happens. Tomorrow we're gonna run another mod. I think tomorrow I'm thinking about doing a Ara mod, plus a Diseased, plus... Maybe... Should, you know what? Maybe tomorrow I should just do Diseased, because it seems people liked it. And then the day after that, maybe I will do Ara plus Diseased? I don't even know. I don't even know, man. I'm always deciding something, and then I'm changing my opinion all the time. So... It, I don't need to announce what I'm gonna do, okay? I think... <laughs> I think we're way past the point, but I still I still am thinking about doing a vanilla run but with a bigger map. Not a huge map, but just a smidge bigger map, just to see how that looks like. So, yeah, I still need to catch up a bit with video production, but when I'm, I get back into action, I will most likely start uploading three videos per day. I'm not sure if it's going to be two inscriptions and one something else, or one inscription and two something else. But uh, when I see two something else, I mean two different games, obviously. And uh, yeah, I think that's going to be it. If you guys like the video, maybe drop a like, you know, the classics, the classics. And if you want to tell me anything, just comment down below. I'm not reading every single comment. I mean, I try to read every single comment. I don't know why I said this. You should never say negatives about yourself, I think, online. But either way, I'm trying to read every single comment, but they are a lot. And I'm trying to get through them, but uh, I mean, I'm trying. So if you want to tell me anything, just comment down below. And if maybe it gets two or three likes, then it has a higher chance to be seen. Still though, I'm still going through comments even if they don't have likes. I don't know why I'm explaining all these things. <laughs> you know, I, I don't know. I don't know, guys. I'm... I'm overwhelmed, but I'm also very positive about this whole thing. So a bunch this this channel blew up. We just hit ten thousand subscribers yesterday, and uh, it's insane. I I don't even know what to say. I'm super excited. I'm really happy about this. I really wanted to make this my career and my you know my daily life for the rest of my life. I guess 
maybe one day I would like to retire. But once again, I wanted to make this into my career. I'm, I'm super happy for all the support and the, the... That we arrived here is insane. It's insane. I'm I'm so happy. Thank, thanks. Thanks, everybody. Thanks. Thanks for watching. Thanks for being here. Uh, yeah, thanks for watching. And uh, that's going to be it. So once again, thanks for watching and see you guys around.